What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel in Victory Formation. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. Now, be careful what you wish for when you are Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay. He said, I'm sick of you guys. I'm, I'm mad as hell that y'all drafted Jordan Love in 2020 in the first round, traded up to get him, didn't tell me. I'm mad that we made it to the NFC Championship game two years in a row. First year, we didn't. We, we just got completely ran over by the San Francisco 49ers. And second year in a row, we have a fourth down even though it was Aaron Rodgers fault that they went to fourth down he had some bad throws and some questionable decisions but on the fourth down we kick a field goal knowing all Tampa Bay has to do is get a first down and they win the game so I'm mad as hell at that three different front office people in the head coach went to go see Aaron Rodgers the team president or two different front office people in the head coach went to go see Aaron Rodgers to try to convince him to come back to Green Bay and guess what he said no sir they sent the head coach the team president, and the GM, and he shot them all down, according to the reports. Also, the reports say that he wants to go play for a team out West Coast. Now, it was reported that the 49ers were the team in the lead, and they were offering all these things, the number three pick and a bunch of different stuff, and it looks like the Packers shot that down. Now, the other two teams that are allegedly in the running for Aaron Rodgers are the Las Vegas Raiders. Makes sense. Vegas is right next to California. It's a quick trip from Vegas to a quick flight from Vegas to L.A. I think it's like 45 minutes. He can go shoot Jeopardy whenever he wants to. He can play his football in the West Coast. He can play in Vegas, a big metropolis city. His wife is an actress, so she'll be right there next to L.A. Boom, it all makes sense. He'll be right next to his wife. And the Denver Broncos. In Denver, it makes a bunch of sense why they want Aaron because they have a bunch of pieces that they can trade away, and they have a bunch of pieces also on the offensive side. And John Elway's never hit on the quarterback. They got Peyton Manning in free agency, and since Peyton Manning, I think they've had the most quarterbacks in the NFL, and all of them have been garbage, including Paxton Lynch that they took in the first round. But look, this is why it's be careful what you wish for when you are Aaron Rodgers. You got to think. Aaron Rodgers plays in a division right now. He plays for the Green Bay Packers where they're always they're the best run organization in the division. They're in the division with Detroit. <laughs> Detroit is always garbage. They're in the division with the Bears who can't seem to get quarterback right. They haven't had a good quarterback since the 80s, right? A con good, consistent quarterback since McMahon, Jim McMahon in the 80s. And you're in the division with Kirk Cousins. You're clearly better than Kirk Cousins. Now, now Chicago drafted, drafted Justin Fields, but he's still a young cat. He has nothing on Aaron Rodgers up until this point anyway. So that is a division you've won year in and year out, and you've been the best quarterback, the most talented quarterback with the best run organization over the last 40 years, right? Green Bay went from Brett Favre, 16 years, to Aaron Rodgers, 16 years. So over the last 32 years, Green Bay has been the most consistent, stable organization probably in football, right? Or one of them, right? The Patriots had a 20-year run with Brady, so we'll give them that. But Green Bay is right up there as far as consistency and, and constant great QB play. Well, Aaron, and so because of that, Aaron Rodgers has benefited, right? He has been the reason why Green Bay has been super good, but – his division has been garbage. The, the Lions have been garbage my entire lifetime. I'm 25 years old. They've never been good. The Bears haven't had a good quarterback. They had a run with Jay Cutler for like three years, and that was it. And he, hell, he didn't play in playoff games. He would get sick and get hurt or whatever in playoff games. And you remember the image of Jay Cutler riding on the, uh, the exercise bike during a damn playoff game. And then you got Kirk Cousins. No offense to Kirk Cousins, but Aaron Rodgers does not lose any sleep at night playing against Kirk Cousins. So think about the two teams that you could be traded to. You're not getting traded to 49ers. It's over. They just drafted the quarterback of the future. They got Trey Lance. They're going to believe in him. They got a team ready to win a Super Bowl right now. So you're not going to San Francisco. You mark them off. So you're talking about the Raiders, which is my team. And, and, I, and I'm going to keep it all the way real with the Raiders. And the Broncos. Well, think about what division the Raiders and the Broncos play in. They play in the same division as Patrick Mahomes. They play in the same division as Justin Herbert who was considered probably the most talented young quarterback in the NFL. He just set the rookie record for touchdowns last year on a team that had the head coach get fired, right? He's that good. You want to go play in that division? That ain't the, that ain't the Bears. That ain't the Lions. That ain't the Vikings. You're going to go into Patrick Mahomes' division. I can say that because I'm a Raiders fan. That's Patrick Mahomes' division and play him twice a year. So now you're no longer the most talented quarterback. You're going into the division that has Justin Herbert who is also a great young quarterback. And you're going to have to play him twice a year. And let's not, even though I give Derek Carr a lot of crap, let's not sleep on Derek Carr. He is a very talented quarterback. You got to play him twice a year.
Now the Raiders can't get stuff right, right? So, so if you go to the Raiders, you're playing Patrick Mahomes, you're playing Justin Herbert twice a year. You go to Denver, you're gonna play Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, and Derek Carr twice a year. That ain't the that ain't the Vikings, Bear, I mean Bears and Lions. That's totally different. That's a different ball game. Is that really better than what the situation that you have in Green Bay? I get it. They pissed you off. I get it. You're mad as hell that they drafted Jordan Love. I get that. You have every right to be mad. They should have got you a receiver. They should have got you something that can help contribute right now. I get it. But is that anger worth your chance of potentially winning a Super Bowl or getting to a Super Bowl or being a very successful team to go play for the Broncos? Is it, has it come to that? Because the Broncos seem to be the leader. Is it really worth that? My answer is no. My answer is no. And, and, and even if you come to the Vegas Raiders, no offense to this is my team. So you got to remember, I'm all, I'm really biased, right? But we seem to can't get the draft right. If you don't go to Ohio State, Clemson, or Alabama, the Raiders don't even think about drafting. I mean, we just took a guard at number 17 that we, we could have gotten a second, maybe even third round. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's going to be a good player. Don't get me wrong. I think he's going to be a good player, but he's a guard. And you're taking him at 17. And he's not like a Quentin Nelson type guard. He's not like the guard that the Jets got, Elijah Vera Tucker. He's like a he's like a second round guard that'll play 10 years in the league, but a, but maybe in 10 years he might make three Pro Bowls. Maybe four Pro Bowls if he's lucky. That's a good career. And you took him at 17. You need a difference maker at 17. That's not a difference maker, especially not right away. So Aaron Rodgers, really, really think about what you're doing here, buddy. Because coming to play for Denver, because they seem to be the leader right now, it's not the move. I'm going to just be honest with you. Playing Derek Carr, uh, Patrick Mahomes, and Justin Herbert is not like playing the Bears, Lions, and, and Vikings. It's not the same. I'm just telling you that. I'm just keeping it all the way real. You're going to be close to Hollywood. You can go shoot all the Jeopardy episodes you want in the world. But you ain't going to be winning no more Super Bowls or even competing for any more Super Bowls you go to Denver. I'm going to just be honest. That's all I got today. Once again, I'm Jeff Light, the junior with Victory Formation and the Black Boss Channel. And follow Victory Formation on Instagram at VF Sports Show, at VF Sports Show. We post all kinds of content on there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time.